Good evening on the Game Tutor and tonight we're going to be looking at Super Barrel Deluxe by Dan and Gary Games. Now this is a new indie game, it's uh, not due out for a week or so, so I'm doing a first impressions video rather than a review. Um, and I'm going to go through it and I'm going to talk to you about kind of my initial impressions and whether I think you should pick it up. Um, so Cerebral Daryl Deluxe is described by its creators as a roguevania and obviously as um, also my brain's gone as Dead Cells did very well uh, I thought we'd have a look at this and we'd see how we get on so new save file That's cute. Sure, Jig, that's about to be up. We'll see who jigs up when you're busy dying. Oh my god! You won't get away with this Detective Daryl. It's a big strong man who isn't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining Detective Allen. I don't know why he talks like that. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. I really thought we had him this time. No use standing around watching me bleed in this cold, dark alley. Go get your woman back. Just promise me you'll tell mine that I won't be home for lasagna on Saturday. <laughs> right, okay, so jump, sprint. Oh, well, okay, first, first. Oh, hello. Okay, so I have lightning, throwing boomerangs. Tasmanian Devil. Okay. Okay, right. So it's... Right. Do I have, like, a consistent attack that I can do? This is unusual, as I don't actually seem to have, like, all of my attacks are on cooldown, which is super weird for a game like this. There we go. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Right. That's working a little better. So instantly the art style is very interesting. As I said, the fact that this sort of game has cooldowns is super weird. Old warehouse, right. Very moody, very noir. I also can't use any of my abilities, so... Alright, so I go over there. Hey, your best buddy. The music's good. Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's get that one a little better. Yeah. 
Oh, we're doing all right. We're alive. Oh, okay, I can do like a simple kick. Right. Let's go through here. Okay, so this is kind of a scrolling beat em up, which isn't quite what I expected. Right. Change skills, right? So, shocking statements. Hang on. What else have I got? Uh, rank up. Right. What don't I like? That's okay. I want something with a lower cooldown. So, um, damage like three percent. That's that's terrible. So let's let's leave it as it is. Let's leave it as it is. Okay. Can I get up there? No. Okay, the kick's quite strong, so we'll keep that going. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time if your jig lasts that long. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So at the moment, there seems to be in quite a lot of recharge, which is no bad thing. Okay, that's just going to get me down, so let's go back this way. I'm assuming there's a reason why I've got loads of stuff. Like, as this is like, obviously this is some kind of epilogue as to how something bad happened. Because obviously I'm more powerful than I would expect to be, and I've got like, things on cooldown, and I'm level 44, so... Unless that's kind of part of the way things are done. Either way, it's unusual. I'm getting better at chaining stuff together now. Textbooks, do I collect those? No, they hurt me. Right. 
right, so I got the key. I went through the weird lock. I'm now in the depository of doom. It's very ominous. But let's go with it. Don't listen to him. Okay. Come on, Alan. Give him the mojo. <laughs> I love the XP. That one, okay. You're my hero, Detective Daryl. So big and strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Filth. Actually, Darryl? my uh, little voice wasn't that far off. It's quite Are you good. Listening to me? As hey, a, have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Son of a bitch. All right, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time, for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. And now, and now it is, it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. Clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring, the first of its kind in the country. Their service and charity to the Waterfalls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Brilliant. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please give yourselves a hand. 
Is he the bad guy? He looks like the bad guy. Ah, what a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, and all we've yet to do tomorrow. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent. Especially with every top college on Earth begging for our attendance. You know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. I know we can reach whomever we wish to reach. I've been thinking. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, hold on. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately. Is this going to get romantic? My findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. We've already proven we can help people help themselves locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through helping themselves. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah, our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. A smooth, gliding escalator. Right, well that's the epilogue. More we're talking about the prologue. <sighs> Pleasure to meet you, Daryl Whitelaw. My name is Mr. Roboto and I am the vice principal here. As you know, Waterfalls High School is the finest school in the state. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. If you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. So I didn't quite make it. Of course, on. academics are our number one priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just make sure you have a hall pass. Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? <laughs> wow, 7.45, that's an early start. Yes, Daryl, that schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. Oh, okay, I was confused. I thought I was now like a teacher. I didn't realise that I'm a high school student. Paul looks about 40. To be fair, I like, seem to have a lot in common with Alan.
piece of paper from flowers, right. Okay, so I've got like. Okay, so this is obviously where the. Uh, So I can't, I can't jump like I could before. I'm going into the quad. Is this the quad or is this just outside? Okay, the quad. All oh, right. So the crow's just taking my bit of paper. So essentially, this is almost like an adventure game. That's a big old hat. Okay, now I can jump. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I've got a dandelion that can talk to me, which is totally normal. Alright, let's go get another dandelion. My dandelions. Now I need to find whatever that crow did with that piece of paper. And there's the crow. The piece of paper. Squirrel boy. So, is this like in a dream? Or not? This is very weird. Well, good, there's no full damage. Right, so now I go back. Than the things. So it's kind of like an adventure game. It's like a point and click without being a point and click because it's sort of like a platforming point and click. Maybe. Alright, let's give them the weird stuff. button. Oh, okay, the minus button. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so I do have like gear. Five on six. Okay, and these people all seem to have quests, so... stole his lunch from me. Aren't oh, I a lovely person? Right. Okay, it's just ask this sort of teach me how to do the quests. So
Social journal, look at the current quest. Alright. Okay, this is going to teach me about skills. Let's just count. So, okay, so I can flick through quests at the top. Just want some skills. Let's go back to Tim's locker. I just want to equip the skill. Like, I need to better punch someone. How do I? how it works. Right, so I can't buy anything. I can go to the locker and put some new skills on. Okay, right. Let's put that in there. Okay, right, now I can beat up that thing. Alright, so I can beat up another one as well. I'm going to meet the students, so let's go and meet some more students. Chelsea, Jesse. I'm going up that way. He's very tall. And okay, so I should talk to him. What does that mean? That's one I've got, like, kind of got to talk to. Oh, that's me, uh, the guy from the Dragon Ball Z. Don't know who his name is. Okay, 
so that's so. Okay, so once that's sewed. So we've got to punch another fez. I love the popularity showman. Feeling okay. Big a big old bear. Mark. I can't get out that way. I'm going to look back out in the quad, see if we can find another fez to punch. More D&D uh, &D stuff, talking about mechanics. Equip a mighty weapon. Right, let's go and. Um, oh, I've got a dried out marker. What's that for? Oh, okay. I've got that as a. What does that do, though? It makes me stronger by one, I guess, by the look of it. Got another first to kill. Okay, that just drops me into the bottom of the world. Didn't know that. Top, shouldn't I? Well, that's really annoying. I can't remember what was up there. Right, let's jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Right, let's get across here. It's there, it's there. That's a weird looking moon. The art style in this game is quite good, but it's very weird. Right, so. Oh, okay, so I've got a weapon there, so that's okay, so I've done that one. And um, I apparently did that one as well. Not quite sure how. I'm not after learning about popularity points. Which I'm guessing is sort of my level maybe. Uh, okay, so there's my locker. Oh, I level up my skill. Rank up. Okay, so Skill shot. Can I buy anything else? No, I get some sort of book of currency. I'll just beat up this one as well. Right. Beat up two of those. So I go back to my locker. And then level this up again. Right. So done that. Yeah, 
Who was out to speak to about saving? This person, I think. Okay, so I've got I've got more of a a thing now. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, look at the quests. Talk to the D and D player again. Oh, okay, that's the uh, person in the bathroom, isn't it? Dragon Ball Z, if you will. Right. Now, I've done that, and I met students. Right, so now I can go back, Janice's closet, and science room. Right, it is still the janitor's keys. The gardener. Got to bury Riley the rat. I forget where I had to go to find. Okay, so let's find the keys first. Which is going to be in this room here. Keys. Fine. Which means I can then get back to the science room. Okay, so that's a thing, some sort of alternate dimension. Punch me. Okay, this is a super weird game, I'll give you that. But I'm interested, and I'm enjoying it. Okay, so these are generally bathrooms. Oh, and the urinals are quick saves. I like that. Slay six class to proceed. Fair, do I have to like, pick it up? Oh no, it just tells me like how to get to the next bit of the map, I guess.
that was cool. Let's kill some flasks. So this is kind of a point and click sort of action platformer or lab coat I think. It's cool. I like it. It's very unusual. It's, actually let's say that it's not it's not so unusual, it's weird. Okay, I didn't realise that was that. Oh. Kill these Benny Beakers. Press space to pick up shiny objects. Oh, okay. No, I didn't get the joke. Let's put some of those on. Okay, so there's just things I can sell, I think. That'll be a save point. Quick save. To be fair, is there like a secret one down there? That goes back to Science 101. I don't want that. Need to get the textbooks. Oh, it's him. Okay, that's I suppose. That was nice. Can I sell any stuff? Sell some crap. Obviously that's how, and then I can just use that to get back to Science 101. And then go back this way. Oh, brilliant. That was cheap. Right. Now we need to bury Riley the rat. Do hand that in while we're here. Take a bathroom break. Equip a second skill. Ah, oh, okay. So I can use the blinding logic thing. I can equip that as my second skill. Cool.
Right, so this is my first sort of boss. Gorilla Tim. Cool. Very cool Donkey Kong rip. Glasses, I think. There we go. So it's frightening him. Okay. Right, end of prologue. So, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, needless to say, I fully intend to continue to playing. So, see you later. How the hell do you night, night, Andy. Examine those goddamn antiques. This school used to be number one for every sports and club worldwide, you know. If you've enjoyed tonight's video, please like and subscribe. Remember to come and check us out at thegametutor.co.uk, where news, articles, and videos are updated on a weekly basis. Also, please check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Daily Motion.